you paid big money for your Harley Davidson Daymaker lights and they ended up looking like this looks like a white chalky powder or corrosion or something inside I'm gonna show you how to take it apart get a heat gun heat it up evenly all the way around After a while of heating it up all around, I had already preheated it. Ooh, it's kind of hot. Get a flat blade screwdriver and start prying. Nice and easy. This piece is plastic. I just found out even though I've owned this for a few years now. I just realized it's plastic. And just start prying it little at a time, all the way around. You don't want to crack the plastic. Just work it nice and slowly, nice and evenly. like a white chalk. I wonder what the hell it is. I thought maybe water got in there and corroded it. Now there's four tabs on this. While it's all hot, start prying up on the tabs. you're impatient like me and pry too hard you might break a little piece is this plastic? no no it's just rubber it's some kind of RTV material in there I'm gonna have to get some black RTV to clean this and look at that look what's inside there is this what's leaking? Contains harmless absorbent for product freshness. Packaged in uncoated Tyvek. Do not eat. Is it this stuff? I see a little cloud come off of it. Yep, that's what it is. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's a little cloud of stuff coming out of here. White powdery stuff. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but this stuff's letting out a little puff of cloud. A little puff of smoke every once in a while, which seems to be the powder. See it all inside there. So, I guess we're just going to clean this up. Get some black RTV, I don't know if I have any, and seal this back up and it should be fine. We should put these pieces back because without this, see, it's right at the seam where it's leaking. I don't know if it's showing up though. Without this, you're going to fog up when you get moisture in there. This absorbs the moisture. Seems like it's coming right out of the seam somewhere. One of the seams split open on this. I'm just going to use some duct tape and seal it. You can't seal this whole thing, otherwise it won't work. Let's 
look at the edges. That's where the smoke, that's where the powder seems to be leaking from. Harleys vibrate so much, why would they use something like this that'll bounce around in there and get cut up? Uh, that seems to amaze me. Just tuck it back in like that. These are the LEDs in case you ever wondered what it looks like in there. These are the actual LEDs. That's a weird shape on them, huh? I always thought they were just lenses. Now what we're going to have to do is clean this edge up, clean the RTV stuff out of there, whatever the sealant is. It's going to take a while, it's going to take some elbow grease, smaller screwdriver will probably work better. Yo man. Yo what up Fresh? I'm working over here. <laughs> See a camera? I got a Tension freak. You gonna do a little dance for this? Do a little dance. Sing a little song. Get down tonight. Just gonna clean the surface as best as I could. action I'm gonna try to get this as clean as possible to get all that powder out of there I don't want it to leak all over the lens again and make it all cloudy so I'm gonna be a dick because I don't want to go to Home Depot which is only three four blocks away I don't have any black silicone I have red, I have clear, I got red RTV. Thought I had some, but anyway, what I'm going to use is uh, Farmer Gasket Sealant since it's black, because it does show a little bit, even though I have the trim rings on. It's going to show the black bead instead. I don't want to have a color on there, so I'm just going to use this this stuff but I don't recommend it because this is going to be a pain in the ass it's going to make a mess in case I ever did have to take it apart again where the silicone would dry up nice and you'd be able to peel it right off so hopefully I don't make a mess with this stuff I'm going to do it my way just because I don't want to go to the store try not to make a mess out of it I'm sure it's going to make a mess once I put this on. It's hopefully going to squeeze out, but it's probably going to squeeze in too. Hopefully it doesn't get too messy. I filled up the whole bead. I probably shouldn't have. Eh, not too bad. A little bit of a bleed out on the inside. Give it a nice squeeze. Ah, got a little bit more bleed out in there than I wanted. Time to put it all back together. No more white spot in there. Looks nice and clean. That's it. Just I highly recommend you go out and go get yourself some black RTV to do this silicone stuff. You don't want to use what I used. 
gets messy. I think it's going to stay gummy. It's going to be gross, disgusting. Not good stuff, but I live, even though Home Depot is three blocks away, I live in New York City. It's so unpleasant going, to, going anywhere in New York City, especially at this time. This is rush hour. Even walking there is annoying because the people that work there, it's just it's horrible. Gotta get out of this place. Need to go find America.